What is up YouTube? It's Akali Sama coming at you with my first uh, Hogwarts Legacy video. Um, today I want to go over something that I just discovered maybe 15-20 minutes ago um, on the Broom Racing uh, time trials. Um, I just now, probably about 5 minutes ago, finally was able to get the actual first place time. Um, when you're going through and you do the quest that unlocks the two different time trials, um, it'll come up and it'll say, here's the time you have to beat. And then if you beat it, if you beat both of them, you get the achievement. Um, and that's really all you have to do. If you if you come back and you want to get the first place and beat this Ruby Wild person, um, as far as I can tell, there's no achievement. I just finished it like 10 minutes ago. It's really just because you're OCD and you want to beat it like me. Um, so if you do and you're having troubles with that, I just wanted to show you something that I found. Um, how to make it easier to control the broom and how to make sure that you hit more of those golden bubbles. Because the golden bubbles are absolutely essential um, to make sure that you can even match that first place time uh let, let alone beat it um so the one that i'm doing is the second one that you unlock um it's on the southwest corner of clagmar coast right here um zoom in a little bit it's right there um and so basically what i found is super simple and when i realized it i kind of thought that i was an idiot um for not having realized it and been doing it the whole time um but basically all it is is when you're coming up on these hoops just go to the outside edge and when you get close to it point yourself in the direction of the golden um circle thingamajigs and now that i'm doing a video of course i'm gonna start fucking up um <laughs> and immediately get a uh, time penalty on me um but i'm not sure if i'm articulating this very well and if you guys can see it very well but basically i'm just trying to when i get closer to the circle i'm aiming myself from the circle um or right right before i pass through the circle i'm starting to aim myself towards the uh these thingamajigs the golden golden circles um basically what happens with the golden circles is you hit one of the golden circles you get a boost um but if you hit multiple in a row you get a larger boost that lasts for longer and so you want to do your best to hit all four of them um another tip when you get to this area right here about three circles before this actually uh you can start to concentrate more on your turns than altitude um these ones right here, you usually only have to adjust your altitude by like one spacebar or one control or whatever you have it mapped to. I don't know what the controls are for uh, console systems. I'm a PC guy, sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I, I, I fucked up. I got a time penalty, so I'm going to be three seconds behind on this one um, at least if I don't fuck up again. And I'm totally fucking up because I'm talking and I'm distracted. Um, but hopefully you can you can see that it does make a difference. Uh, this one right here, if you didn't know that, under the bridge, um, there are the bubbles under the bridge, and that's uh, one that I found you really have to hit. When you get to this point right here, um, I don't even care if I lose right now. When you get to this point right here, um, do, 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 do. I gotta turn the auto flight off and go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm running away. Ah. Okay. When you hit right here, it doesn't really matter if you hit these gold bubbles. Just hit the last one. Um, if you can hit the last one in your curve up, it gives you enough enough boost to get to these ones. Um, and for those ones there, just hit one or two of them so that you can get a straight line down uh, down this one. This one here, make sure you hit the right edge, and then you'll be able to get a straight shot through. And then same thing on this one, hit the right edge, and then you can turn, and you'll get a straight straight. Yeah, I can't talk. Get a straight shot through. Um, so obviously I stopped and <laughs> turned around, uh, but even though that wasn't a great demonstration because I'm distracted and talking and everything else, um, like I said, just about five minutes ago I finally managed to do it. Um, got two whole seconds um, above the first time. Again, no achievement or anything for this one, y'all. Um, 
it's just for fun. I hope that even made sense and I was able to accurately articulate what I was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully it helps some of you guys out um, in beating the time trial yourself if you're trying to do that. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, and please comment below and just let me know like, uh, if you guys want to see more content, what you guys want to see. Um, I'm probably going to put some more stuff out on Hogwarts Legacy, just some little tips and tricks that I found. Um, I've been just kind of playing through slowly. I think I'm at about 73% completion. Yeah, 73% completion right now. Um, I'm really taking my time on this. I didn't really want to make content because I'm just so in love with the Harry Potter universe. Um, and I didn't want to make content until I had really, like, dived into it and figured this out. But this time trial, I was bashing my head against this for hours yesterday and about an hour today um, after I got back from my classes. Uh, and then I finally was just like, happened to notice when you're at the edge and you turn, if, if you go to the opposite edge of where the, um, the next golden circles are and then you turn right there, it makes it so much easier to basically just line up on a straight shot and just go straight through. Um, hit four in a row if you can. You get the largest boost that you need. Um, and if the ghost gets like a full circle in front of you, just turn off to the left or the right. Um, and it'll do what you saw on my screen where it pops up with the countdown. Um, and it'll basically say you're out of bounds. Um, but if you do that, then it's almost in instantaneous. It takes like maybe three seconds and it just pops you back to the beginning of the race um, and you can just start it again. It's way faster than completing the whole damn thing, unless you're practicing, if you haven't been running it a million times like I've done. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Again, like or subscribe if you liked and um, catch you guys later. Thanks.